Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1959 in Candy Crush Saga. If you find these videos helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. That in turn would really help me out. And this is a special dedication to Loretta, who let me know that they have really changed this board, <laughs> not least of which is the reduction of moves. It's a hard level, we can tell by the skull in the purple, where we have 13 moves to open up six of these licorice shells. These act just like popcorn, so don't be afraid of them. If you're used to popcorn, that's what these work like. You hit them three times, they open up, give you a color bomb. And we have to clear out 68 layers of frosting. It's crazy hectic bad on this board, in my opinion, and I'm sure in Loretta's opinion too. So I thought I'd take a crack at this and see how long it takes me and see if I can develop any strategies unique to this board or just remind myself of strategies that I use on other boards. So the first thing I want to do is figure out how I'm going to hit each of these three times. Uh, the wrapped candies will certainly help. It'll hit these and these twice each. And I wish that there weren't these cutouts because then maybe I could uh, put together a color bomb, color bomb combo to help open up the rest. But I do also have some stripes along here. And I could open this up right away, but when I do that, everything shifts on the board. Not necessarily a bad thing. I want to maybe take out some of this frosting or this or make this move here to knock some things out, try to free this color bomb that I have. Unfortunately, if I, let's say I make this move, I would strike each of these three frosting, but I wouldn't remove any because they would just go down a layer and these are multi-layer. So I would still have frosting on the board. It would be thinner, but it wouldn't give me any more space for candy. So I think I am going to do this because it opens this up and it reduces the number of green on the board and green is already scarce. And so if I take out a color, maybe I'll be able to concentrate things down. The other thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I am making the very best moves possible. So this is a fairly decent move still, or I have this and I don't have much purple on the board. But I think I'm going to take this. I don't have much blue on the board and it's lower to the ground. Now I do have an opportunity to make a stripe. I think I should go for that one. So I'm trying to choose the very best moves instead of just moving quickly. Whether or not I make the best moves, we'll find out. And then sometimes we just need luck regardless of whether or not we do the best we can on a board. Sometimes we won't be able to do it. My goal is when the luck shows up, I want to be prepared. I do like this move. Again, I need to open this up right away. I've got to get to these guys. So now I have a few choices. None of them involves hitting one of these. I can't use that to strike it. So I can make this move. That would take this out entirely, so that would be pretty good. Uh, and it would take this out a layer, or I could go up here, this out entirely, this out a layer. I could slide over here, it would hit these guys a bit. Let's see, if I do this, I would position the blue over here and the green down here further. If I go like this, I would position the blue over here. I like bringing the green down. I'm going to go ahead and do this move. It seemed my best choice. I'm not sure, but that's how it seemed to me. And then I don't have a lot of green on the board. I, I have more than I want. I don't have a lot of orange, but I can't reach orange. And I don't have a lot of blue, but I can't reach blue. So let's do this. I don't have a lot of much on the board because I don't have a lot of space. Mm. This move, I'd hit these down a bit. This move, I would just hit this one. Anything else? I don't see really anything else. I'm hoping that the green comes together a bit. We got a bit of cascading and now we get to do this. I could make a stripe, but I like wrapped candies. Wow, that was almost fantastic. If I could do a wrapped, wrapped combo, that's going to hit each of these twice. Plus it's going to open up this and set it off. So these are going to not only be opened, they're going to be collected. And when they hit, they will take out the most prevalent color on the board. And then I'm also going to be setting these off. So this is going to be dramatic. Plus, of course, we're hitting layers of that frosting we need to hit. That's part of our job here. There goes that one color bomb, and now this one isn't as helpful as I thought it would be, but look at this. Oh gosh. 
I can't reach a wrapped candy. Wouldn't that be lovely if I could? I'm going to go for the green, take out a color, concentrate things down, and then I have to go with the one that's going to be the most dramatic, even though it's not going to make the win for me. And I think that I did fairly well. So Loretta, I can see the problems on this board. It's going to take a combination of luck and strategy. And I just didn't have enough of that luck this time around, even though I think I had a fairly decent strategy. So I'm gonna keep employing that strategy, wait for that luck, and then really be careful about the moves I choose. I'm gonna pause the recording and come back with a new board. I'm going to have the microphone turned off until I have something significant to say. But I will have a general idea for you of how many tries this takes me before that luck cuts in. See you in just a bit. Okay, everything is open. Now we just need to get to these guys. I've got this beautiful thing here. However, it's not a stripe, it's a wrapped. And we know that the wrapped candies, well, there's no blue over here, and things are weighted very heavily and can fall down. I'm going to rely on the fact that I've got another move after this, that I've got some blue up here, and that this is going to get struck with something, because you just don't really have a better alternative. I could take out this one guy here. No, I'm going to go for this. I'm going to go for the most chaotic thing possible and hope that taking out these colors is going to concentrate things down enough to give me that boost. All right, so I can make one strike against this and I can hope, hope, hope that we get, again, enough chaos here. Ah. Oh. No, but so close. And I'm going to leave this as representative of what a combination of luck and skill can almost get us. Because if I end up beating the board by a huge amount of luck, um, I, I don't want you to think that that's the only way to get things done. If I wanted to ensure victory, I could have taken out a layer with a lolly hammer. So you can use boosters at this point in time if you've been struggling for a long time. But I'm going to keep going. I'm going to pause the recording again, come back without the microphone again, but I will come back on when I have something important.
Okay, so this one's it. And of course I got that nice bit of luck in the beginning. I think it was this level that the luck happened where I got a color bomb. That was that one, right? <laughs> Sometimes they blend together when I play as often as I played this one. Uh, or Yeah, it, it took between 55 and 60 tries to get this one done. So, and that 50 mark is really hard for me to go beyond without considering what uh, boosters to bring in. So, if it were me, I would stay away from the lucky candies because these guys are basically blockers and you're going to overcrowd that board, especially if you get a lot of these licorice shells, you're not going to have room to make the things you need to make. So if it were me and I were bringing in boosters, I'd probably bring these in. And then of course hope that right away I get a combo of some sort with those guys. Anyway, that's it for me. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. I wish you all the best of luck, Loretta and everyone else. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.